Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a mini lecture on acute pancreatitis, mostly in the dog. Uh, the cat also has acute pancreatitis, but we most often see it in the canine. Very commonly, the animal has been overfed or fed too rich food, fed too much fat. Usually after Thanksgiving or Christmas, we end up with a, a, rast of, a, a whole raft of these animals coming into us with acute pancreatitis. The animals diarrhea and vomiting, just about anything we put in the animal's body comes out again, essentially, and vomition, essentially. We do to acute pancreatitis. What's happening is the body's being asked to create more digestive enzymes than it really can handle. And what it does is it starts to digest its own pancreas. The pancreas sits underneath the, the stomach. When you look at it, it looks like salmon colored. However, with acute pancreatitis, it almost looks red, like it's got a sunburn, and that, of course, indicates inflammation. That inflammation produces nausea. Dogs are very easy pukers, and so if anything's upsetting in their stomach, they just herp it back up again. However, if they get involved with acute pancreatitis or chronic pancreatitis, they can't keep anything down, and they make a trip to the veterinary hospital. What we'll do very commonly is not give them anything for 24 hours. We give them fluids, antibiotics, and anticholinergics, <clears throat> and they'll straighten themselves out, and then we put them on a really bland diet. However, their predisposition to acute pancreatitis is probably held in place by what we all always blame everything on, which is vertebral subluxation complex in the autonomic nervous system. So in this case, virtually because of the thoracolumbar area is compromised, we have decreased parasympathetic uh, and increased sympathetic, which means the lack of blood supply going to the pancreas does not allow it to actually respond to any kind of stress, such as eating a great big fatty meal, so the animal starts puking. These animals don't get acute pancreatitis, but this one does because it is compromised in that regard. So what we'll do is we'll classically adjust the animal, as we always do, for musculoskeletal, and then we'll use the somatovisceral approach to taking care of and optimizing the blood supply to the system, to the pancreas, essentially, and that can very commonly be worthwhile. We'll very commonly also use frequencies for the pancreas, which basically we can go ahead and use for uh, sympathetic overstimulation, 216. We use uh, frequencies for the pancreas, which are 33 and 66. Directing this area also will treat for the liver and increase blood supply, 100, 4, and also um, 300 essentially for a capillary as a means to take care of it. If in fact we think it's septic or there's an infection, what we'll do is we'll treat with 784 and we'll treat this animal in this regard for about 180 seconds, usually twice a day for three days, once a day for three days, and twice a week for two weeks. The, the approach of this is to do two things, to take care of the acute problem right off the bat and then also to direct ourselves to taking care of the chronic problem so these animals don't have this thing occurring over and over and over. Throughout anywhere from 14, 12 to 14 bouts of acute pancreatitis will wipe out the pancreas and basically take the animal's life. So the animal can't keep having acute pancreatitis, both subclinical or clinical essentially. And so our approach is to try to fix the underlying problem, which in this case is a neuronal interference that's occurring in the paravertebral ganglion. That's the autonomic nervous system. VOM is the only technology that actually addresses somatovisceral disease conditions using an adjusting technology. We use both the adjuster and also laser to actually rehabilitate these animals and they respond quite nicely. Quite nicely means within two or three days they're completely asymptomatic and within two or three weeks they're actually not only uh, okay but also very unlikely to have this problem back again. I appreciate it if you go to the website and look at the vomtech.com information essentially so you can get an idea of how we do these techniques and we show it to you for free. I'm Dr. Inman. This has been about acute pancreatitis and have a great day.